Hi developers, let's learn how to use Terraform to provision resources in Google Cloud Platform GCP. We'll try to create a virtual machine instance and a network VPC. For that, we'll explore the different Terraform commands like the Terraform init to download the provider needed to, con to uh, communicate with the REST API of the Google Cloud Platform then we'll try to use the Terraform plan, which will give us an overview of the changes that will be applied to the GCP cloud. After that, when we are ready to apply those changes, we can apply them using the command Terraform apply. And at the end of the demo, if we want to delete all the created resources, then we can use the command Terraform destroy. So let's get started. Here we'll be creating a compute instance, a virtual machine, and in addition to that, we'll be also creating a compute network or VPC network on Google Cloud Platform. Here I have the Terraform configuration files that will connect to my project on Google Cloud Platform. Then I have here the two resources that I want to create. The first one is the Google Compute Instance. This one will be called VM Instance. It will have the name Terraform Instance and the offer for the virtual machine will be the F1 Micro. And this is the smallest um, virtual machine on GCP. Then it will, for its configuration, it will use the boot disk for Debian, Debian 9, in order to, uh, to attach this disk when the VM starts. So it will use the OS Debian. Then we will configure its network interface. Here we'll be using the uh, network coming from the VPC network. The VPC network is the second resource that we want to create. This one uses Google Compute Network. It will be called a Terraform network and it will use the auto create sub networks equal to true. So this is the Terraform template that contains the configuration that we want to create on GCP. Now, if we want to deploy this into GCP, then first of all, we need to authenticate to GCP. Then we need to have the um, right access in order to do those, uh, to do those uh, actions, in order to provision resources. So let's do that. I switch back to my browser. So here, if you don't have yet uh, an account on uh, GCP, you can do that by going to Google uh, cloudgoogle.com slash free and from here you can create a free account where you will have 300 uh, bucks in order to try some uh, resources. I have already done that and from my dashboard I can see the different resources that I can create from the app engine, compute engine, Kubernetes, cloud functions and so on. In order to deploy my resources now that I, for, by using Terraform, I want to deploy them into a new project. For that here, I'll go to this window from here and I'll go to say I want to create a new project. So I click a new project and from here I give a name to my project. Let's call it Terraform GCP. Then click create. Once the project is uh, now it's being created, so let's wait for a few seconds. And once the project is created, I'll go to click on it in order to go to the dashboard specific for my new project. And from here, I need to uh, create a service account. To do that, I'll go to AAM and admin and select service accounts. Here, I don't have any service account defined yet, but I'll go to create a new one. I'll give it a name saying terraform-sa then click create. The second step would be granting the service account access to the project. So we need to select a role. Here the role I want to give it is the project editor. So let's select that. Uh, but of course note that you have other um, other access types. If you want to give it access only to your app engine, then of course you can do that here. For me, for this demo, I just give it access to all the resources inside this uh, project. After that, I'll go to continue to create this service account with the role editor. And what, once that's done, now I can go to create the key. 
So let's click create key. And from here, you have the two options of using JSON or P12 if you are uh, seeking older uh, versions. For my case, I want JSON key. It will be downloaded and it is opened here in my uh, VS code. So from here, we see uh, the, um, the content of this JSON key. It says this is the service account I want to use it's the type then the project ID then here I have the private key ID and the private key for my uh, certificate so this should be a uh, kept secret and shouldn't be uh, shared with anyone because it will give him access to uh, full access to your uh, GCP resources then we have the client email that will be used with this uh, with this uh, service account and some other useful information to to be authentic authenticated to uh, GCP now I'll go to copy this file into my project source folder here so for that I'll open my downloads I'll copy this project then I'll paste it to my uh, GCP demo So that will be available from here. Now from my main.tf file, here I need to uh, update the name of the service account JSON file I'm using. So here uh, I suppose I'm using service account.json. So I'll use, I'll copy this name and rename the uh, JSON file that I have uh, get. So let's rename it to service account. And then for this template, I need also to update the project demo uh, or the project ID. For that, I'll go back to my uh, GCP dashboard. And from here, I'll go to uh, get the information about my uh, project ID. So this should be it, the project ID for, uh, for the project I have created. Let's update this value right here. And now I'll, I'll accept that the region would be a US Central 1 and the zone is US Central 1C. Now we have configured our Terraform template to connect to my project using the service account. But we still have one additional step to do that is granting more access to our uh, service account. For that I'll go to AM and admin and from here I'll go to edit the uh, the access that this service account have on my project so we have already granted it the uh, edi project editor but in addition to that we need to grant him more access for that i'll add another role and this time it should be the role um, compute so we'll add the role compute admin and in addition to that, we'll add another role also for uh, compute, but this one should be the compute networks. So I'll select compute network admin. Hit save. Now the policy were updated successfully. And now the service account I'm using here have the uh, full access to create virtual machines and networks. Let's now deploy this Terraform template into GCP. For that, I'll use the terminal, and from here, make sure you are in the same repository, in the same um, um, folder where you have your main.tf and the service account JSON. Here, I have the Terraform command line already installed. So, if I type Terraform right here then it will give me all the commands that I, I can use and this means that it was uh, configured successfully on my uh, machine otherwise you can install it uh, from you can go to the terraform website and you can get the instructions to install the terraform uh, cli once it's installed now we can start initializing our terraform configuration for that i'll use the command terraform init with Terraform in it, it will go to read my main.tf file and it will detect the providers that should be used. In my case, it should use the Google provider. For that, it will download the uh, provider to be used later with a Terraform uh, apply and Terraform plan. So our second command would be the Terraform apply 
or Terraform a plan actually. So b before applying the changes to GCP, we want to plan those changes. We want to see what Terraform will, uh, what changes Terraform will make on our GCP account, and that would be done by Terraform plan. It would not touch to our GCP account, but it will only check what are the resources to be. Uh, created. Here it detected that it will add two resources, nothing to change and nothing to destroy. And the two resources that will be created are the VPC network and also the Google Compute instance, call it VM instance, with the, uh, this uh, configuration that we have specified. Now we are ready to apply the configuration. Let's go to use the command terraform apply. This one will take the uh, plan that we are detected and then it will try to apply the changes to the GCP. And here it asks for a permission to apply those changes and here I go to say yes, I want to make those changes. And here we get an error that is, it is saying here that we need to enable the project that we have created. And to do that, it gives us here the link uh, to uh, to enable the project. So I'll copy the link for the project to be enabled and I'll go back to my uh, browser and here I'll paste the link. So this is how GCP works and each time you create a new project we need to enable it because this uh, when enabling a project this means um, it will start uh, charging money for this uh, project. So I'm enabling this API, this will take only a few seconds and after that we'll be able to uh, resume applying the uh, changes. And once that's done, now I can go back to my terminal window and from here I'll apply again the changes by using the command again terraform apply. I say yes, I want those changes. And now terraform connected to my GCP project and it started creating the VPC network and in a few seconds it will start creating my uh, virtual machine instance. Let's wait for it for a few seconds until it finishes the, the provisioning of those resources. And the deployment did complete successfully here. So two resources were, were added successfully to the GCP account. Now, if I go back to my, uh, to my dashboard from Google Cloud Platform here, for the, uh, we can see that now we have a compute engine that were created. We can go to the created compute instance by, creating, by clicking on it. And here we can see that resource with its uh, configuration that were uh, uh, created by using Terraform. So this was how to create resources by using uh, Terraform. Now, if we want to destroy or to delete those resources, then we have a specified uh, Terraform command to do exactly that. So let's go to clear this and let's use the command Terraform destroy. Terraform destroy will destroy all the resources that were previously uh, created. So here this means it will destroy it or it will delete the instance VM and the network uh, VPC. I'll confirm that I want to do this action and now it started uh, destroying those uh, resources. This will take a few seconds so let's uh, wait for it and Meanwhile, let's, let me give you some other resources that you can use if you want to go deeper with using uh, Terraform with Google Cloud Platform. So from here, you can get the main.tf that I have used uh, today in this demo and this repository. And on this repository, Terraform providers, you can find the different providers used by Terraform as Terraform is an open source project. So here they publish all the source code for their uh, providers, including Azure Resource Manager, Google Cloud Platform, Amazon AWS, uh, vSphere, AliCloud, Kubernetes, and many more. You can find them right here. And to, to get more details about the uh, different configurations or about the different resources that we can deploy into 
uh, Google Cloud Platform, you can go to the Terraform documentation where here you can find the different uh, tutorials and different uh, codes, uh, examples for deploying compute uh, engines for deploying Kubernetes, for deploying BigQuery uh, tables, App Engine, and many more. And you'll find all the documentation for those. For me, for this demo, I were uh, it was uh, highly inspired by this uh, tutorial, where here it gives more uh, information about the uh, configuration. At the end, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, where I post regularly about cloud and DevOps.